Hello folks, and welcome back to Ridiculous Boss Fights, the game, the movie, the book. We are once again fighting the Keeper, ugly ass thing that she is, and she's basically kicking our ass. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately for her at least anyway, Tommy's ass may be very kickable. It also springs back into shape the moment you finish giving a damn good beating. Yes, I stopped focusing on Tommy's arse, shall we? That's weird. But yeah, we come back to life, like so, and just basically wreck her day with my respawning plasma death. Pew 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 What's that? A voice from the sky? She's still alive! God, this was not a triumph! I'm making a note here. Huge cock up! So yeah, it turns out that thing we just fought was not in fact... Actually, it was the Keeper, but the Keeper is not the thing that's in charge of this little facility. You're about to see what I mean. So I'll grab myself some, you know, tasty, tasty ammo, roll some stuff around and I'll show you. That's right. There's hundreds more of these bloody things. The one we just fought, that was just the tip of the iceberg. There's thousands of the damn things. All with kinetic energy balls and shields and the ability to portal through surfaces and really annoy you. <coughs> Sorry. Throat's going dry again. Need more tea. Mm. Up yours, keeper boy. Well, keep a girl. You may be wondering, what the hell just happened there, Lizzo? Well, it's quite simple. Because these fights get so long and repetitive, I'm just going to keep cutting ahead. That's right. So you get to see me use lasers of all different sorts and varieties on the various monstrosities. Uh, you will have to kill about six rooms of these things, with between two to five of the damn things in each room. So I'm just going to give you the highlights how this goes. Basically just keep grabbing ammo, keep shooting them. Uh, to be quite frank, I really don't like this sort of style of gameplay, this whole idea that your big lead up to the final boss should be a huge gauntlet of all the enemies you fought before, plus maybe you know one or two new extra hard ones. Plus I thought a well crafty boss fight should lead you up there without you noticing um, the trials you've really come through to get there kind of thing you know you get there getting more and more worked up and then finally it's a case of right now you're mine son and yeah anyway eventually she you know she taunts you along the way and stuff you can send as many fucking freaks as you want and uh I could command these oh my we shouldn't have said that should you Tommy there's hundreds of thousands of freaks in here as it has since you arrived here but instead I offer you their lives as a sign of my faith in you. Yeah, so basically she's like, hmm, guess what? I'll kill all these fuckers for you if you stop trying to murder me. Seems like a good deal to me, to be honest with you. Come and take the place I have prepared for you. All right. Yeah, she's doing like a Darth Sidious thing. With each passing moment, you make yourself more and more my apprentice. But yeah, it's a pretty hardcore like that. It's a relatively short loading screen, so I'm not going to cut it out. I apologize if you can't hear the sound of me drinking the tea and all, but uh, I need to keep my voice. My voice? It's like a voice, but you know, spoken by a dyslexic person. No, it's, um, <clears throat> doesn't seem to be working anyway, still seems to be drying out. Behold! And that's, um, a soundbite from the old Marvel vs. Capcom games. Behold! Behold! Optic Black! And all that lot. Oh, hello. Another, um, this one's a bit weird, actually. It's completely different, in a sense, to the shuttle things you've been doing before. And it gives you absolutely no idea of why the controls are different or how to operate them. It takes me... See, I just randomly start zooming forward and I've got no idea why. It turns out when you hold right-click, 
your little shuttle sphere thing here zooms in towards the planet. Uh, the general idea is get yourself in close enough. Use your spark welder thing here to ignite the plasma currents. And once all of them are active, uh, they will enable a massive portal, which will transfer you to the sort of, sort of pocket dimension type area she's actually hiding in. It is kind of a bitch to get working there. There we go. I've got one of them going at least. So you have to do it with perfect accuracy. Uh, your WASD keys will move you up, down, left and right around the room. But you can only actually approach the sphere by, like I say, hitting right click. Um, the fact that the sphere itself in the centre is also rotating can make judging your timing, your distance, quite horrific. Plus the arc world has a very, very, very small uh, area of effect. It means at times you'll think, wow, I've, I've hit that perfectly, I've got straight in there. And you'll hit, you know, the spark welder. And it'll block off the plasma vent with its animation. And yet nothing will happen when you zoom back out. Also, you can't control how long you're zoomed in for. Which is also kind of irritating. Yeah, just like there. I zoom right in. I The animation for the spark welder seems to hit the thing perfectly. And yet nothing happens. And like I say, because you're... The planet's moving and you're zooming in and out and stuff. These last few can be quite a... Quite a pain to hit. You can hit the first couple quite easily, um, largely by mistake. Just keep hitting zoom in and you'll pretty much run face first into at least one of them. But when you have to start getting a bit pickier, that's when things get awkward. And also, if you get hit by too many of the, uh, the plasma streams you've ignited, I think you can actually blow up the shuttle. Well, shuttle, spark welder, whatever the hell this thing is you're supposed to be riding in. Again, this was like a, a very interesting little mechanic. The, it's alright, don't get me wrong. But it's just a case of, once again, the game crew didn't really give you, the player, enough support in figuring out what you were doing and why. Sort of dumped you in this device with not even any hints towards the controls and just said, yeah, get on with it. Without telling you what it was exactly they expected you to do. I do apologise if you can hear the sound of the ice cream van in the background. That's completely ruining the atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, I'm starting to like doing the idea of doing this in a 10 minute segments. It gives me enough time to keep everything fresh and stop things from going stale, of me getting bored, of me running out of commentary. Admittedly, sections like this where I'm not really doing much don't help, but still. The general idea, the general principle even, is sound. Is that all of them? Have I missed one or is that a lot? Again, there's no real indicate. Ah, there we go. Transported to a little pocket dimension thingy. You. You're human? I was. Once. Seriously, love, put them away. Yeah, Trying to keep this thing G rated here. Boy, the first person to flag this, I will let a bomb your house. I had no control over this. If you took over. Yes. To become immortal or to perish. I made the obvious choice. As you will now. Well, if you're immortal, why do you need me to take over? It's all like a queen thing, is it? It's like, who wants to live forever? Who wants to live forever and never die? I should put that in here somewhere, shouldn't I? Start kicking it off. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll start off the uh, the next segment of the game with it. That'll be cool. Well, I'll like it at least anyway. But how do I kill her? Hmm. Oh well. Tune in during the next set where I figure out how to kill this bitch. Bye bye. <laughs>